All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. So let's talk about Zainab Balogun. Zainab Balogun. Uh, Zainab Balogun. Uh, since um, let me share the screen properly with you. I've seen her since uh, she used to be on Ebony Life TV, uh, which was one of the first few shows on YouTube long time ago with uh, Ebuka, with one other lady, I think her name is Olamide, I'm not sure. There was one other guy like that. But they used to just do kind of like what I'm doing right now, but more in a, you know, TV settings, on a TV set that looks like a living room. Uh, but she got married in 2018 to this guy, some airline CEO boss, some, some like that. Uh, they got married. I don't know. There was something. This, listen, I don't like to judge this kind of situation because you just never know. You could be off. You know, we can predict. We can uh, guess. I hate predicting people's fate, by the way. That's annoying when I see people do that because nobody knows anybody's future. It's ridiculous when people do that, uh, including when people predict what the election outcome is going to be. That's one of the lamest behavior ever i don't care if it's coming from a prophet we don't need a prediction we need people to be to get involved in the process right so in the same token when it comes to people's um personal life their love life and stuff like that um as a matter of fact this is not too comfortable for me even talking about it right but i know that you know the agenda here is to extract all those lessons an agenda must agend you know so, but one thing I did, uh, since we now know the news that they are no longer together because she deleted all of his pictures. Now, for me, um, I have never noticed that she posted any pictures outside of their wedding day and when their wedding happened, right? But again, I don't really f like engage her content like that. And when you don't engage people's content, you don't really see everything they post, okay? But also when people are really, really heads over heels and they are completely involved in a person they just married, you can pretty much tell in how they post, what they post. They are heads over heels. Some people say, don't, don't show your, you know, listen, it's not something you control when you are at that space. When you are in that space that you feel connected to a person, you don't really get to control if you want to show more of it online or not it's just a natural thing you would do when you're in love now if you have questions about your situation if you're not confident about it it will also show we saw that in the first few days of copy now recently in the past few days copy or ten dollar in the last few days i could see that the blogs are picking up that she's posting stuff which is good for her but those first few days kind of leave you to like you should be you should be like, we have an example. And even though she's an older lady, she was, you can see that she's in love. You can see the husband that he's in love as well. Um, What's her name? Rita Dominic. Right? Like, again, don't get me wrong. It's not always that way. Some people are just not really PDA-ish like that. They don't, they're, not, they're not the type that show public display of affection. But typically, you can also tell. <laughs> okay? In their other behavior, they tend not to be the one to hang out. Like if Don Jazzy, can you imagine Don Jazzy getting married? And the, the pictures are nowhere to be found, right? That's a red flag. Because it's not that type of guy. It's the type of guy that posts quite a bit on social media with randoms. How much more with the person he just decided to do life with? Just something to pay attention to, right? Right? So... But she got married, she did post it while she got married, but after that, it almost seemed like it was like, eh, nothing happened. But again, we don't know, but we're just guessing, we're just speculating, right? Just all speculation. But now, that marriage is over. Why would that marriage be so over so quick? She seemed like it. Now, she seemed like she was raised in London. She sounds like she was, she's raised, she was raised in London or UK, somewhere. Um... Why would that marriage be over so soon? Literally less than four years. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters right now is to let you know that divorce is not your mate. 
<laughs> okay that's just that's the only thing i want to tell you okay that's all right there she's also a beautiful lady like majority of these ladies right ebuka right there you can see ebuka the way he he ebuka doesn't even post like that his wife on social media he posts himself with that nigga's annoying but <laughs> he posts his fashion stuff right but the way he posts his wife you can almost tell like this one they figured something out it's not a guarantee for life but they figured something out the same thing with banky w it ain't no guarantee we don't know what's going on remember but i'm just again i'm shedding some light on something here there are patterns okay it doesn't mean you must admire i must be like these people there are patterns let me see let me see who came okay ice eyes i see you i'll be right next with you all right there are patterns and i want you to pay attention to those patterns not so that you can say how hey, i want it to be like that's couple good that's not what i'm saying for your own good you should observe some patterns like some people there's a way they move you can you can feel it you can tell that this ones have figured something out doesn't mean they figured everything out they figured something out that's ebuka and his wife and that's that's the the that's zainab's and it looks like that's that was their wedding and the only picture of them that we can see on this spaces have you noticed because if they have more other pictures even if we're not talking about ebuka ebuka did this picture can you imagine that just pay attention to what i'm saying the algorithms is like human beings because it's literally mimicking humans behavior okay it's basically what you engage with that it picks up okay we're not even talking about ebuka <laughs> and his wife and somehow they ended up in this in this uh, picture roles in this uh in this roles right here okay do you see any other picture with zainab and husband outside of the picture they put out which was this is a picture that looks like they put out uh shortly after the wedding or maybe even before the wedding you know why is ibuka showing in this thing that's we're, we're not we said zainab balugu and husband why is ibuka showing up here again this is wedding picture okay now this chick right here uh zainab anybody will want to marry her just the way she carry herself in the industry right you can see here am i just am i uh am i the rapper i just got married recently and uh you know this was three years ago when zainab got married this is a this is a screenshot supposedly from 2018 may when she got married of mi saying zena balugu is married no with a heartbreak emoji right this is literally how most single men probably felt when she got married why are we seeing picture of her with uh jidena <laughs> right where is the picture of you with your husband okay now see i want you to pay attention to this. here's the lesson i want you to get out of it. why is banky w showing up in this picture we're not calling on you sir and your wife listen do you have to showcase your that's not what i am saying what i'm saying is that if you are the kind of person that posts kind of a lot on social media and suddenly this one thing you're not posting it is probably the keyword is probably a red flag so let's say what's uh what's her name what's uh sue adesua right adesua adesua itomi and husband let's try that right how many pictures of Adesua and Banky are you going to see? Does this mean they are perfect? No, it doesn't mean they are perfect. I'm saying there's something that you probably should pay attention to. If they are celebrities already, and we say Adesua and Tommy and husband, and we can only see one type of picture from your wedding, it's probably something to pay attention to. It's not guarantee of anything. It's just probably something to pay attention to.